Every five years, counties must review their hazard mitigation plans. These are documents required by FEMA for communities to qualify for additional disaster planning and management grants. Public input on these grants is being asked from people who live in Elder, Delta, Menominee, and Schoolcraft counties. So in our four counties, most of those are um, weather related, ice and snow, and thunder and lightning storms. Uh, but it includes things like wire, wildfires and structural fires and hazardous material releases. Uh, so the local emergency planning committees take all that information and put it together. And then we draft the plan into a program then that local communities can uh, take action from uh, to apply for grants or make changes in the community for the better to prevent these kind of disasters from happening. Here's how the plan has been used in the UP in the past. The Marquette County uh, Hazard Mitigation Plan was used to apply for a FEMA grant to rebuild Lakeshore Drive. Um, and that money was funded by a pre-disaster mitigation grant. Um, other communities in our area have used them for uh, sewer upgrades, getting generators, fixing shelter locations, um, firefighter equipment, and all sorts of other things. Residents in the four counties have until February 14th to provide public input. The plans can be seen at cuppad.org. Once the plans are finalized and adopted, they'll be on all of the county's websites. The current plans are on the county's websites as well. We'll have direct links to all of those on our website, upmatters.com.